Kowalski, two lengths in front of Cramden, a similar margin, Star Lightning. Then Dad said, who now drifted right back on the inside to be fourth, nearing the corner. Ruby can run back last of all, but it's Erosine well held as they approach the corner. The favourite clearly on top at the point of the bend, a length and a half to two, clear of Cramden. Star Lightning's a further two away, then travelling third, followed by Ruby can run. He's rolled back to the inside on Erosine and Cramden keeps on coming. He has to shake up Erosine with Cramden, drawing level. Down the outside, Star Lightning. Cramden had hit the front. Erosine's gone. Star Lightning diving. Star Lightning. Cramden went to the line. Cramden, Star Lightning. Little in it. Might be Star Lightning and Eyelash, but it's close. Star Lightning could have got it an absolute nose from Cramden, but hold on to your tickets. Behind them there was the tiring Erosine. Ruby can run, and Dad said back behind those. Waiting for the result. The momentum is with Star Lightning. Number two, Clint Johnston Porter. And it'll get the verdict here on the outside, I would suggest. Star Lightning, Cramden. Getting to Erosine. Erosine immediately under pressure after heads had turned for home. And uh, Star Lightning coming to the outside of them. Got the nod. Number two, Star Lightning over number six, Cramden. And Erosine four has paddled home into third placing. Well, it looks so much closer, though, to the naked eye than that photo finish margin gives. It does flatter the outside horse, who has the momentum. But it has got their star lightning. The winner, Amir, by Hassan Lightning, out of Morn Star, raced by Ronnie Beecham. Trained by Jeff Durant, Jason Miller, handled by Clint Johnston Porter in 59.05. 35.09, the 600, the sectionals. Overall time aren't quick. Controlled speed. Makes the run of Erosine disappointing in front. Didn't have to do too much to be there. So a half head by one and one and three quarters of the official margins. 11.43.60 for Star Lightning. Crammed at 1.60. No third for Erosine. Runner up. Crammed in by Hassan Lightning as well. From Hart Whisper, Brett Pope, C. Matthews, M. Bowden, Pat Rasden, the owners. Prepared by Brett Pope, ridden by Troy Turner. And Erosine by Testa Rossa from Moon Fever for Wendy Miller, Ron Paul White, D. Milne, S. James, and Mrs. D. K. Dwyer, trained by Damien Miller, ridden by Jared Noski, the late scratching of five festive excess. So 2643, Ruby Can Run finished in fourth placing. 2643 after the running of race number two. The third event, the Get the Tap Touch Maiden over 1400 at 147 with 14 Zadora Bella, 16 Summit Trail. And also 17 Little Miss Charm coming out there in the next. OK, let's head down to uh, Adam McGrath. He's with the co-trainer down there at the moment, Jason Miller, after the victory. And uh, some of the reputations dented there of a few fancies in that race. Jason, she's like a fine wine, just seems to be getting better with age. Yeah, look, she's, um, she's tough. She uh, looks... She's, um, you know, a lot of her wins have been in provincial country um, narrative and like that. But look, she's tough and on the day, on a, the right day, the right run, she um, is very competitive. Those provincial and country races, she's been the best horse in the field. She's gone to the front and just sort of dictated terms. But the pattern today where there is a bit of speed and she can run on, that seems to really suit her. Yeah, look, she um, she's probably an ideal 1,100 metre horse. Um, 1,200's too far. Um, a thousand, some, a couple of times has been a little bit too short, but um, no, she hit the line well today. It planned out, and she's done a good job. I think she's had, a, she's been in work forever, and she's won about five races this prep. She's no superstar compared to some of the runners you do have, but as you said, just as honest as they come. And when you look at the form lines around, remember Berlin, which won on Saturday, Stormy May, which placed on the weekend as well. It just shows that she can mix it with the good quality. Yeah, look. Um, she's a good bread and butter horse. Um, she pays away and she's a pleasure to have in the stable. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. There's Jason Miller, trainer of Star Lightning, has now won three of its past four races, one at Narragin, one at York and one at Ascot now as well. We'll speak to Clint Johnson Porter after that win beating Cramden in third place was Aerozine and Ruby can run in fourth. Of course, festive excess was scratched at the barriers as well. Clint, perfect timing there in the end, mate, just able to get there with the last dive and she appreciated the early speed in the race. Yeah, she definitely did. They um, went pretty quick. Quick, what suited her well. 
um, she she just sat back that little bit and hit the line. She settled nicely, and I guess maybe those last few runs have really helped where she's actually led on those occasions. Yeah, it's um, kind of given her a bit early on in her prep. She uh, she was a bit of a back marker, and now she's getting older, she's getting more into it and uh, running a bit closer to the speed. What helps her a bit because she's only she's only limited, but uh, she's doing a job. It looks to be a horse as well that you don't really need to whip too often. Just responds nicely to the hands and heels. Yeah, either way, she's she's she, track work. She's a bit stubborn, but um, so you got to persuade her a little bit, but. Uh, Obviously, uh, today, we're putting the stick away, getting our head down, uh, got there. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Clint Johnson-Porter, winning jockey there aboard of Star Lightning, taking out race number two here at Ascot.